What's going on guys? My name is Slim Rosnick. This is my first video on this network. Uh, these guys are great for letting me do this. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Um, this is kind of an introduction video for me, but I'm not going to really spend like 7-8 minutes talking about myself, introducing myself. I really hate when uh, people actually do that. They make like a full length video and all they do is just talk about the channel and themselves. So I came prepared today. I actually have a topic to talk about. But I really, really briefly wanted to uh, introduce my channel and what I'm about. Um, so what I do is I make fun touches, comedy stuff, um, funny commentary. So if you guys enjoy laughing, come head over to my channel. I actually got a couple clips for you guys to show you what my channel is about. And then I'll get on to my main topic. So check this out. And then we'll uh, get rolling. So here we go. Okay. Oh my god! I hate this game. Why'd you die? Yo, don't tell me what to do, okay? Last time someone told me what to do, I beat the shit out of them, and that was the mailman. Have a nice day, Tiger Blood. I'm like, no! And I beat the living shit out of that mailman, man. He's a paraplegic now. And I beat the living shit out of him. Like, man, literally, his nose was, like, down to his nipple. You know, I think we... I'd rather do it with my boxers on. And you say, fuck no, you pantser. And what happens next would, uh would scar your face and your mind and your whole sexuality forever. Uh, you pants her from the front and her cock or his cock or whatever just slaps you. So if you want to hear the rest of that story or the full video length for those two clips um, head over to my channel. They're pretty new videos. The Minecraft one is probably my latest one and, uh, and now let's get on to the main topic. Um, I'm going to be telling you guys stories of my childhood. Um, I have never told these stories to anyone except for like two of my friends. Um, no one really knows these stories, so you guys are the first to hear it. And it's not even on my main channel, so uh, feel, feel good, feel good. Um, I'm only 16, nothing huge or entertaining has happened in my life yet. Um, I think my childhood was probably the most entertaining, awesome part of my life so far. And, uh, and yeah, let's get on to that. So, when my parents tell me these stories, these are stories from when I was like uh, seven years old to five years old, uh, they always would say that I was a demon child. I was a really bad kid. Um, I was pretty much a real life Stewie Griffin. Um, I wasn't the type of kid who would start crying and want stuff all the time. I wasn't that type of kid. I was physically, mentally retarded and stupid and physically uh, very, very angry. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I was this type of kid. Um, I'm not this type of guy right now. If, as you, if you could tell right now, I'm. I hope I kind of sound like a nice guy. But uh, when I was a kid, I was something different. So uh, if you guys watched Dexter, that was per probably my dark passenger. Um, so this one story I have to tell you guys. Um, I actually remember this story because it's such a horrible thing that I did. Um, this was when I was like five years old. Um, my mom at the time used to work in a shop. She was like a co-manager, manager, I don't remember. Um, she loved to knit. She, she, uh, she sold clothes and uh, she loved to knit. So uh, this one day uh, she was knitting. It was like noon, somewhere, somewhere around there. Um, she was knitting and uh, she decided to take a nap. Uh, just take a little break. So she took a nap and uh, she left somehow she left the knitting needles and the yarn right beside her um, in reach of me where I could reach it um, now my mom is not a horrible parent she's actually a very good parent she's raised four children um, but uh, but I don't know she might she might have not been thinking but she left the knitting needles in my reach and the demon child that was I took those knitting needles while she was sleeping and I remember this I took the knitting needles and if you feel on your face um, under your eyeball where your skull begins like right beside your nose um, I took those knitting needles and I stabbed her right there like right on the face right under the eyeball um, if I went like half a centimeter or a centimeter higher I would have blinded my mother um, if you look on her face you can probably see the scar right now you, it's not that noticeable but you could probably see a little hole right under your, her eyeball um, not really a hole, but like a scar. Um, I pretty much almost blinded my mom uh, of my stupidity. Um, talking about stupidity of me when I was a kid, um, I used to watch 
Mr. Bean a lot. Like, he was an awesome... It was an awesome show when I was around. Um, even though it was, like, I think for, like, one season. I'm not sure. Don't hate me if I got it wrong. But uh, I used to watch Mr. Bean. And I saw this one clip of Mr. Bean. He had, like, a... He was watching TV, and he, he put a popcorn in his nose. And he, like, blew the popcorn out and turned off the TV. And the stupidest kid I was, um, the dumbass I was, I took an Advil, like, those gel gel type of Advils, like those little gel pills, I took an Advil and I stuck it in my nose and I sniffed up instead of sniff out and I pretty much got um, the Advil stuck in my nostril, we had to go to the doctor to take it out, um, it was probably the stupidest thing I have done in my whole life and this was when I was actually thinking normal, I was like 8 years old, 7 years old by this time so I should have known better, but uh, yeah, I could now say that I sniffed an Advil up my nostril. Um, yeah. So this other story, um, I don't really remember this story, but uh, my mom told me this story. Um, uh, she would always tell me to wash my hands if I ate food or even if I drank water from like a cup or a bottle, uh, just to be clean and safe. Um, so this one time she was in the kitchen, I asked for a snack. Uh, I don't know, like a, like a nutrition bar or whatever it is. I asked for a snack and she was making food and I remember, well I don't remember, well she told me that when she was making the food she forgot to wash her hands. So she got a hold of, the, of my snack without washing her hands and this totally fucked up my logic of you gotta wash your hands before you eat anything. Um, and I was pretty pissed off at this point because she touched my food with her hand without washing it. Um, and I got pretty pissed. I'm like thinking, what the fuck? She tells me to wash my hands when I eat stuff, but she doesn't do the same. I got pretty pissed off. So I ate my snack. Um, I'm like making a plot here. This was when I was like six, seven years old. Um, I go into the living room. I get a hold of a wire, a really thin, um, six, seven feet wire, which would be used for like your TV or something. I don't remember. I don't remember, but, uh, I got a hold of a wire and I came back in the kitchen and I whipped my mother um, very furiously, um, hardcoredly. Uh, so yeah, pretty much so far, I have almost blinded my mother. I have whipped my mother. Um, I have sniffed an Advil that I got a stuck in my nostril. And uh, I could say that I was uh, the closest thing to a demon child. Anyways, the commentary is coming to an end here, guys. Um, the clip just, the video just ended. It wasn't a really good score. It was kind of a filler. If you guys enjoyed this commentary, um, come head over to my channel. Um, I have a lot more of these stuff. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.